you know, um, so some of you have probably found the results already today. I apologize, this is another video I'm making of the day, but uh, some news I had to re I should report. Uh, Dick Tomey, the coach of San Jose State, is retiring uh, officially, and uh, it's his last uh, few games. His last three games are uh, coming up very shortly uh, as the uh, season's winding down in college football. You know, there, there has uh, probably everyone here who is a Spartan football fan and knows has, has been waiting for this, including myself. But uh, I thought I, should, I wanted to explain just a few thoughts on uh, Dick Tomey before he officially uh, sent out. Uh, you know, this year was very uh, depressing because we have a very tough schedule. Um, you know, and next year will be rough, too. We actually sold our soul uh, for money, basically, uh, Next season, we have to play at Alabama. So all you um, SEC fans like Roll Tide and Law Tide or and Cam, I don't, uh, I'm not sure who else there is, but you guys get to all laugh at me next. Uh, then they got to go to Wisconsin. So yeah, next year they pretty much sold their soul, and also the home and home series they got to finish with Utah. So it's going to be a rough time here in uh, San Jose State for uh, the team. Uh, you know, Dick Tomey understandably has to resign. Uh, couldn't, you know, this year we just couldn't get much out of it. It is the right move. I mean, the good news is his contract is up after this year, so it's not like we're buying out anything. Uh, you know, Colorado's got their own issues with Dan Hawkins. They can't buy out his contract. But Dick Tomey had a lot of decent memories. And, uh, you know, his... Despite the records here in San Jose State, he did bring one winning season, and he made our, our athletic players actually much better. We've had more scholarships lately because San Jose State was once a program in dark danger and pretty much in danger of losing its Division One A status. And I think he partially saved the San Jose State program in that. Our players are academically a little bit better. We're not in a serious amount of probation or a APR is not super low like it used to be, so I thank Dick Tomey for that over the uh, years. He did bring one bowl game, even though I didn't, I wasn't here as a student yet. Uh, the bowl game when they went to the New Mexico Bowl in 2006, that was something definitely to uh, cheer about. You know, same thing, same year my Bruins upset USC. San Jose State had an eight and four record, third place in the WAC. Came close against Boise State that year. That was the year one. Boise went undefeated and beat Oklahoma. San Jose State that year put gave him a close fight. And uh, they had a very respectable third place winning a bowl game. Something the also that brought a first win over Fresno State in 16 years. Something that doesn't happen is beating Fresno State, and he did that at least once, even though we, they haven't beaten. They've had our numbers still. And then five and we went five and seven that one year, but there was still some efforts. There's been some guys still in the NFL from San Jose State. A few guys have been drafted, like Jerron Gilbert, Christopher Owens, uh, Coy Francis, Dwight Lowry on the Jets. That's probably the most famous one you you guys are familiar with. But there's some guys out there still that that he's produced, and some players have been men. But his legacy will always be known for what he did in Arizona. And that's why I'm wearing the shirt here with the, you know, Wildcats. He he created the Desert Swarm defense, and, and they were really good. I mean, those guys, Arizona fans will always remember Dick Tomey, and they, they probably regret firing him at the end of 2000. Cause that sure put a mark on their program for a while until, until they finally made a bowl game uh, the other year. Uh, yeah, but Dick Tomey produced a very good program at Arizona. Uh, using the desert swarm, a lot of uh, motive. He was a good motivator back then, and get, I gave him uh, a lot of credit for his history. And uh, I'm happy that he had. He does have a legacy, even though this year was a mess. I mean, it's not. It's not all his fault. It's partially, I think, the coaching staff's fault. But uh, you know, I just got to move on. You know, this season. The end of last season, we lost three straight games. It was all on the offensive line, the spread system. Uh, pretty rough after starting six and three. This year, we're one and eight as this video is being made. Some of you saw the clip of that 62 to seven beatdown we had to face. I mean, there's really just no fight in the team right now, and 
it's unfortunate that uh, Dick Tomey has to come out on a sour note like this. But, uh, you know, thank Dick Tomey for all the uh, things he's done. Uh, but when it comes to at least building the program and making our students students before athletes. And, uh, you know, a lot of props there. So, despite this, uh, the way the season has gone, at least there's been, at least the players are a little bit smarter and just got to move on till uh, next season, hopefully, whoever we find is coach. But you'll always be remembered at Arizona, definitely well in the Pac-10. They, they got robbed of a Rose Bowl that one year, but, you know, that's what happens. So, hopefully you can uh, move on, and well, I wish you well, tell me.